Hi everyone, I'm here to guide you on how to use Lexus Audio Editor. Why Lexus Audio Editor? First of all, Lexus Audio Editor is a free app, user-friendly, so I would recommend uh, I would recommend you guys to use this software because first of all, as I've told you, it's a free software. It has a user a user friendly interface, easy to understand and to interpret as you're going to see. So how do we get this? First of all, you have to download and install it on your mobile phone. How? Access your, um, access your Play Store, type there Lexus Audio Editor, then click on download. It will automatically install. Uh, if you click on download, the moment you click on download, it will automatically install on your mobile phone. Once you, you have installed the app, you double click on it like this. So this is how the interface looks like. So this, uh, the first button here, it's used to play, pause, record, and stop. So with Lexus Audio Editor, you can upload or import. Are we together? You can import your audio. Uh, you can you can be having your audio on your phone, so you can import it by clicking on the open icon here. You just click on it. Just click on it. Then it will show you the locations or the partitions you have on your mobile phone. So you yourself will be knowing where your audio is. So you go and click on your audio. Let me say if it, this was your audio, just click on it like that. Then you click open. Oh, so you see. Now your audio is there. Or you can record the audio with the with the the, the app itself. Uh, you just go. Let me first go back a little bit. Sorry. So you see here. Now we are. Uh, this is a new file. So you just click on this record button like this. The moment you click on it, it will start showing you here. You can see on the right, um, on the on the left here, you can see that it's it's now recording. Now it's recording what I'm saying. So if you want to record an audio, you can use this very very software. You record your audio. When you are done with recording your audio, you stop. You click on the stop button. The moment you stop, you stop it. The waves will automatically load. So these are our audio waves, where we can edit, where we can do our edit from. So you can play your audio and listen. The moment you click on it, it will start showing you here. You can see on the right, on the, on the left here. You can see that it, it's now recording. Now it's recording what I'm saying. So you so can you hear, you can hear the audio yourself. Audio, you can use this you can hear software. It. You record your audio. So you can when also you stop it. Your audio, Sorry, you, you can pause it like that. So if you have a particular area you want to what? To cut out or to remove from your audio, these two I think you can see these two where I'm putting the cursor. This one and this one, this round shapes at the end help us to select that particular area. It's a matter of dragging them at the beginning where you want to cut. At the beginning where you want to cut, like, let me say here, 
you can see I'm moving it. Then you also drag the, the one at the end. Let me say you want to cut from there. Then this means that the, the area between the two lines is the area I highlighted. So you just go here on the dots. You click there. There is what we call car, there is import mix, there is effects, silent, undo, and cut. Then you click on cut. That area will be out of your what? Your audio. So you want if you want also to do what the what we call fade in, fade out, or if you want to amplify, still you just move. You just move the what? The two, the two what? The two samples or the two lines. Then you come here, you go to effects. Then you look for amplifier. You can see there, equalizer, stroke, amplifier. Then you click amplify. So when it comes here, you can amplify accordingly. Amplify, 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 amplify. Or you can move this. Then you say apply. Now you see the voice is amplified. So it's a matter of uh, like interacting with the interface. It's it's similar to Audacity. It's a nice audio editor software you can i recommend you guys to use user friendly you see everything is it's only it's a matter of interacting with the interface the more the more you interact with the interface the more you get uh the more you get used to it the more you see different features even the one we haven't covered but i've shown you those those basics one so you will do further research about this tool is a nice tool and i recommend you guys to use it when you're editing the software thank you thank you very much may god bless you